Greeting fellow programmers, this is Pavel and this is a conclusion of the exercise 416 from the book C Sharp 2012 How to Program. Uh, in the previous two videos we created the, uh, the class and all the properties, uh, all the calculations for the heart rate, for the age, for the BMI and now it's the time to put it to use, which means we need to instantiate an object and we need to display the results. So, we we'll go to our main method and uh, we can ask user to supply some of the information. So we will do console.write and the first thing we'll ask is the name. So what is, I'm going to write so I can get the uh, cursor next uh, on the same line, next to the end of the or whatever is being written on the screen otherwise I would have to go to a new line it's gonna be it will be quite a few lines so what is uh, your first name and user will enter it and it will ent he or she will enter it into a variable I'll just call it first name and it's gonna be console dot read line it's a string it's a name so we don't have to convert it uh, at all. We can do what is uh, your last name and we will call this L name except I got this one first name and last name. Okay so that's our first name and last name and now we can uh, ask uh, you know the when was he born or she so you know what, let me just copy paste it and I will ask uh, what is your uh, year of birth and the variable we will be holding it in I'll just call it year of birth now I'm using var you could use string over here or you could use integer over here it doesn't matter uh, in this case uh, it's automatically picking up whatever it's been pass to it uh, and it will adjust uh, its uh, its type to a string or an integer or whatever uh, is being passed like in this case since this is a year of birth we want an integer so whatever we pass to our console we want to convert to integer 32 and we will pass this console statement in it so that way whatever is being entered it's converted to integer which means that the year of birth will be an integer and now we can do uh, gender so we will do something like come on we will do variable oh I, that is wrong what is your gender all right and that's just a simple read line because it's a string so it's gonna be gender equals console dot read line uh, but we can do something like uh, since we are checking this uh, we can instruct the user to enter m or f male or female okay so we have that and now we can do uh, I will just uh, grab these because I'm going to do the uh, the height and the and the weight which is going to be integers so what is your and I will do uh, height in inches and it's gonna be height we will convert it to integer and finally what is your weight in pounds and again it's gonna be just called weight now I think that's all these are the what uh, these are the uh, information that we are passing to our constructor the first name last name year of birth gender height and weight so we have those 
Now we can create our object. We can go and create our object called health profile and we can do it new health profile and you can see in the IntelliSense that is asking for all the arguments so we will pass the first name last name and this year of birth then it's asking for gender and the height which is the integers and weight and now we have our object and now we can simply do we can use all the methods I mean and the properties to display the information about the patient and we can display the calculated properties as well the BMI the heart rate and all those so we can do something like console dot write line and we'll do name uh, stupid brackets name and we will do first name and last name together we can do that so it's zero placeholder will be first name and one will be the last name so now we have the object so we can use the properties so we can see the health profile the lowercase health profile is the object we has instantiated and if you do that you'll get all the properties and every all the methods that are available to us and in this case we want the first name and we also want the health profile dot last name patient last name so basically it will explain it, it will write name and then it will say the first name space last name all right so uh, the next thing we can do console dot write line and uh, in it we can do uh, year of birth this is just basically displaying the information the user entered not the calculations yet but uh, that's what the exercise is asking us to do so again we have the object health profile and that and we'll get the patient what is it year of birth property remember this is the lowercase health profile this one the class is uppercase less uh, health profile but we have an object not a class all right we instantiated an object you could call it anything you can call it a if you wanted to it wouldn't matter but I call it health profile with lowercase and what's next let's do the age so that is a calculated property but it calculates in the inside the class so we can do uh, right line and do age and we will simply display the uh, result of uh, age that's the property age and if you can if you come over here uh, it simply takes today's year minus patient year of birth which is what the user passes the year of birth and this will display the result of the calculation that's the calculated property so we will do console that right line and I guess we can do gender uh, zero and um, and instead of just displaying um, all right here if you look at a, a validation the user enters M or F for male or female that's what we are checking to make sure that it doesn't enter anything else but we can actually uh, convert it to when M is entered we can display male and F F is entered we can actually display the whole word female and we don't have to do it in the class over here we could but uh man well, this is pretty cool uh, let me show you how to do it right here in the console that right line so you have the gender we will call the patient gender property so let's do that but we will evaluate it is it M or is it F we know it has to be one or the other because it's validated that way if it's not one of these uh, if it's not M or F 
the user would be just entering the value in the loop over and over and over again until it is m or f and then the value is entered so we don't have to worry about that we, we know that it's gonna be m or f so we can do something like this we can do the ternary operator which is like a one line if else statement and we can do something like health profile dot patient gender and we can do to upper does that equal m so there's a question mark at the end and you can def literally read it like that is capitalized uh, input for patient gender equal in capital M and if it is we can output male but if it is not then it must be F because again it's validated only M or F are allowed so it's female and that's the condition that's the whole thing so it's, it's a very cool thing you know because uh, it's in one line is uh, uh, evaluates the condition and displays male or female uh, depending on how the condition evaluates all right so that's the uh, that's the gender and uh, what's next uh, we can do Okay, let's do the hard rate. So uh, console dot right line, and we can do something like uh, maximum safe hard rate, and that's gonna be zero. And we can do it all in one, uh, uh, in like a one entry. So we will display the maximum safe hard rate, and we can do workout hard rate target range and uh, we can do something like uh, it's gonna be the minimum to the maximum so basically it will be the 50 percent of, uh, of the maximum heart rate to the 85 percent and uh, let me just put it on the new line so you can see it. Uh, basically, we will simply output uh, the again the class, which is the health profile. I mean the object health profile that the uh, maximum heart rate. That's the zero. It says maximum heart rate. That's the placeholder that zero. And the second placeholder is the mm, is the uh, minimum. Uh, workout uh, heart rate so that's gonna be the health profile that the target uh, the minimum target rate and the last which is the placeholder number two that's gonna be the health profile that and it's gonna be the maximum target rate which is here all right so that's our target rate so it will display maximum safe heart rate is whatever it is and then it says workout heart rate range and there will be two numbers who, uh, the minimum target rate and maximum target rate let me just put some spaces there all right so um, that's that and now we can do we can do the weight and height so you can do console that uh, right line and we can do height and uh, it's gonna be zero and uh, weight uh, we can as well do that uh, we can do it inches um, you can type you can surely type like uh, inches but uh, what if you want it just inches like a uh, quotations you know like that yeah. it, this is a string so it's in quotes so you have to escape co quotes first so you do the the reverse slash and then you type the quotes which is basically the symbol for inches and all of it will be in a string so we can do that and um, 
actually within the string we, we can do also the weight and that's gonna be the placeholder one and it's gonna be pounds right so uh, and uh, again it's the object health profile that the first one is height so it's gonna be uh, patient height and the ne last one or the next one will be health profile that patient weight and uh, well we need to still display the BMI so let's do that and it's gonna be the last thing actually so console dot right line BMI and we can format it otherwise since this is a double we can have like a you know many decimal places but uh, I just want to keep two so we can do it a uh, placeholder zero and format it as uh, two numbers with two decimals and it's gonna be actually a uh, percent well, so we'll just display the percent that's all uh, after the placeholder so over here we will format the number let's say it would be I don't know 20.7827 whatever so it will be only 20.72 and then percent is just a hard-coded sign for percent because this is percentage uh, it, it doesn't have any meaning it simply display the sign symbol of percent and so this is your BMI and we can now display whether it is underweight or overweight or what so it's uh, which means you are and over here we can call the uh, remember the method we just uh, the last one that we created for the BMI evaluation it will simply return underweight normal overweight or obese so which means you are and over here we will we will call that method so but first obviously we'll call the BMI itself so it's a uh, the health profile that BMI to display the BMI and the placeholder number one will simply be the health profile that uh, BMI evaluation and it's a method and at the end I will just do console dot read key to pause the screen well that was a lot of console at right line but uh, well that's what it is so let's run it and see what we did wrong see the bugs and then fix them and get more bugs and you know how it goes but hey here we go first name Powell last name Smith year of birth 1983 and let's say I'm a male at least today I guess I'll check it with female too just to make sure it works um, inches uh, I believe it's gonna be like 768 or something 70 I don't remember exactly what would be the conversion but let's say 68 or whatever and pounds uh, it's gonna be 165 so here you go name Powell Smith year of birth 1983 which would make me 32 uh, I, I chose to be male so it is uh, I chose I entered M so it displays male that's the one line ternary operator uh, magic now maximum safe heart rate is 188 because if you remember that was 220 minus the age which would be 188 workout heart rate target range is uh, 94 which is 50 percent to 85 percent of 188 which is 160 height 68 which I entered weight 165 which I entered which would make uh, the BMI 25.09 which means you are overweight man I'm fat but it's all muscle and a lot of brain but mostly muscle especially on my belly all right so um, let's do some of the uh, uh, cases where we enter wrong data so I'll do Pavel uh, do Smith and I'll do uh, 1983 actually now let's do 
1890 and I will just do gender as T which is invalid both the year and the gender is invalid so uh, 68 inches and I don't know let's do something bigger so I can check the values for this uh, let's, let's do 100 pounds that should tell me that I'm underweight I suppose so uh, if I enter now see it's asking me invalid year of birth priestly enter so if I enter something wrong again just like year 56 it will ask me again and again and again until I enter something between 1900 and 2015 if I enter 2016 it's still invalid so 1983 but now we also remember we entered the wrong gender so it keep asking me for that so if I again type something wrong it will keep asking and I will enter lowercase f for female and that's correct so I'm Pavel Smith 1983 32 years I'm female this time and uh, here's the heart rate like before here's the height and weight weight is 100 pounds so uh, which means I'm underweight now all right so uh, let's do one more just to test it and uh, I will just do uh, I will do let's say 1973 and I will be M but lowercase m this time I will be 68 and uh, I want to be like a normal range I guess so 130 all right so yeah 1973 now I would be 42 so my heart rate is 178 because again 220 minus 42 and workout ranges are 89 which is 50 percent and to 85 percent which is 151 and height is 68 inches and here's the inches by the way is the quotes that we where we enter within the string right here weight is 130 and that means i am normal 19.76 bmi and percent again the percentage sign is just displayed so uh, there you have it a little object oriented programming in c sharp i hope this was uh, helpful and uh, you can definitely you know expand this uh, you can create multiple objects multiple people you know i don't know if you're familiar with arrays but you can create a, a object arrays or array of objects and loop through them this is just the beginning this is actually a very simple uh, example a very simple exercise it will get much more uh, in depth and much more complicated as you program and as you learn more and more about object orientation and C sharp in general. So, uh, again, I hope it was helpful. If it was, please leave a like, uh, share with your friends if you know of anyone who could use this, and uh, have a good day. Happy coding!